Uh, Stu, I'll tell you, uh, our producer over here said you took a nap. Is that true? Because you're, you're here right on time. I can't well, believe it. I was going to talk to you, and I figured I needed to rest up. I needed the nap before I fall asleep while you yap. <laughs> well, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> it, it's amazing that you it's actually got off that nap. I mean, it the is. way our producer did, he had to go down and find you. Yeah. You must have found a really good spot. He's clever, studio. though. He must be, I'll He's tell you. He's a clever guy. He's a clever guy. Welcome back, everybody. We are now in uh, Shape Shirts, um, yeah. uh, talking about the I-6, the Inspirational yeah. Six. And, and we, we... want to continue. We, uh, the last show you saw, we did Animate and Originate. Mm -hmm. We want to go with uh, three and four down, Rejuvenate and, and stimulate. stimulate. By the way, uh, we should tell the audience, we're in southern Arizona, but we actually get snow. Yeah. And uh, we just had a nice, great s snowstorm about a week ago. Sure you right? didn't make that up, Tony? No. Look at look. look <laughs> here's the evidence right behind you. Can you see it? I don't see it. No, you don't, because you're seeing green, aren't you? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. We have to teach you how to use some green screen here <laughs> effect. In any case, welcome to Southern Arizona. And um, uh, the whole idea is that this is now shape shorts. Is that right? Yep. And it's we want to look at uh, one, of the, one of the things we did was rejuvenate. A lot of education has become stagnant, categorized between subject A, B, and C, where you learn certain boxes. That's but right. you never learn the connections between the boxes. That's important. The connections become the, the key to making the rejuvenation in a classroom more than anything it's, else. And humans don't learn very well by learning specific things. When we talked about putting the science and the humanities together where people learn from, they've never really been disconnected. Exactly. Yeah. And that the, the, this connection has been artificial. Yeah. Or it has been actually uh, forgotten. Yeah. And I, we call it cultural amnesia in that context. But in, in a sense, it, it carries along uh, to be contiguous with I-1 and I-2, which were to basically to animate and to uh, originate. It's automatically a natural transition to now let's rejuvenate yeah. as I-3, I the inspirational third. And, and that goes to, I think, the fact that when we look at humanities and sciences, we're looking at arts. Absolutely, could, absolutely. The sciences are as much an art as the fine arts, the dramatic arts, the literary arts. When we see that as an art, and we see the creativity that comes out of a scientist in the, as an artist, scientists are artists. And I'm not talking about technicians here who learn a bunch of rules and then they do not. They're no more an artist than a craftsman is necessarily an artist. Right. An artist is a good craftsman, but a craftsman is not necessarily an artist. And what you're uh, really talking about is the foundation, though. The foundation is sure. that they have a sense of creativity yeah. that... Uh, it's virtually impossible to teach. I know that might be contestable, but uh, I think creativity is something that, that's born and has to be kind of nurtured. And creativity, and, I agree with you. I don't think it can be taught. I think it can be inspired. Inspired. And that's what word. we're yes, talking exactly, about with exactly rejuvenate. Right. Mm -hmm. You're inspiring, and we're going to do it with stimulate, too. You inspire someone to do more exactly. than simply repeat stuff for some test at the end of the semester that a year from now, they don't even remember what they did. Exactly. The scientist that is a creator is the one who's changed the world. Mm -hmm. The technician, the artist has changed the world. Exactly. And, 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 and science kind of living by itself, you lose that connection. Correct. You, you begin to start realizing the scientist ABC, yeah. the historian ABC, the philosopher ABC, and that generates a layering problem, I think, in terms of education, where are the connections? It's like, uh, you know, stories on a building, where is the, where the, where's the stairway? Where's the elevator? Exactly. And that's what we want to do with Rejuvenate is to create that elevator between these, 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 these different disciplines, but they're all connected. In fact, I think the connections are the most, most significant. Yeah, a good the example. The content's easy, right? Yeah, the good example to me is Galileo. You have one that's always taught as a scientist, but he understood music. He understood theology better than anybody else would to most today. And medicine. He and medicine. medicine. Our this advances was, in medicine. He, really, was, yeah, was, he, was, he saw that he, he didn't live in a world where these were divided up by any stretch of the imagination. You exactly. could have natural philosophy, but you also had ethics. You had mm -hmm. philosophy of religion. You had music. Now, the fascinating thing, too, about Galileo, and we'll focus on a lot of, we'll, we'll focus on a lot of these people uh, through history, 
Galileo saw the world differently, mm -hmm. and he looked into the world and he applies mathematics to the world, which is a, a, a mental human discipline. All of a sudden, he sees it in the, in nature, and he sees the period of a pendulum going back and forth mm -hmm. by looking at the chandeliers in in church. Something you probably yeah, yeah. You, you used to do yourself, right? You, well, father, I have clocks. I watch pendulums. Yeah, you are, well, that's what makes you very boring. I think, don't you? you well, I mean, didn't you, you're you, saying Galileo's part? No, it's just I, I think boring. you no, said no, that. No, 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 no. no, no. You I, can't I, back I, out of this. What I'm saying is that when you look at when you look at a pendulum, nice try. Thanks for playing. You're self hypnotizing here. I think that's what's going on. I think you look at a pendulum in church. Because you don't want to listen to the to Well, the, my to father was an Episcopal priest, so yeah. I wasn't listening well, to him. <laughs> you were watching, and Galileo was looking at a pendulum, uh, uh, the chandelier. He wouldn't listen more than I was. But it's fascinating, though, when you look at it. Here is someone who's looking at a, a chandelier in a church of different lengths, and they have, in effect, different periods, but the ones at the same length, no matter what the amplitude was, no matter yep. what the spread of the uh, pendulum, the, the, the chandelier mm -hmm. was, it says the same period. Increase the length, decrease, you know, the increase the period. And, and I, this is fascinating. And I think part of the thing to rejuvenate, one of the things to ask, we talk about that, what inspired him to even do that? As you said a minute ago, yeah. that's been observed for thousands of years. What made him millennia, millennia. And, inspired and, and him to looking, see that? Looking at the arc of a, um, uh, of a fountain. Mm -hmm. you know, just even, even today, go to a fountain. The fountain is basically parabolic. Yeah. yeah. And... We, you saw that for mm -hmm. almost every yeah, fountain yeah. out there. For sure. how, many, how many centuries was that? <laughs> so <laughs> we got a producer. We have a here. producer here that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, yeah, what he's telling us is basically to shut up. That's yeah, what he I said. He just told us said. to shut up, but it's <laughs> in a very interesting way. So uh, we have to shut up now. Yeah, anyway, no, no, uh, that's it. But I like I like the idea of Galileo because this gets directly into uh, stimulate. Yeah. Because stimulate is really to activate a student to be an active participant, not a passive yeah. listener. Right. And that. This all goes from we go to rejuvenate and to the idea of curiosity. Absolutely. Why is right. a five-year-old curious and an 18-year-old has none? Exactly. What did they go through? Uh, this is going to be incorrect. I'm going to get in. Did they spend their 12, 13 years in the prison system learning to kill their creativity? <laughs> and I mean, I, I know I'll get flack for that, but that's okay. I'm used to flack. But Well, like I said before, it's not many times say, on shape shirts... If you have a mute button, you may do that whenever Stu Bar speaks. Well, That's important to anytime, recognize. I know there's all kinds of great teachers. I had them in high schools and mm -hmm. in this. But when you, what does that to you? What, where did you become no longer curious? A child is curious. Just look at a kid. There, everybody makes fun. The kid always asks why. Well, instead of putting the kid down for asking why, you want to know why you're not asking why on everything. Absolutely. What happened to you exactly. that's in that kid? And, and that's, that's what I found. I know we both talked about this many times over our, uh, over our experience at, at the college, was how many times could they have asked why and they didn't? Mm -mm. We're the ones that had to bring forth that. Have you ever thought about why that is? Yeah. We had to stimulate that. Yeah. And, and then... As we did it more and more, they became more active participants, and it became infectious. And it, well, I think both of us made it acceptable. Instead of saying, don't ask questions. I mean, a good example to me once we were doing, I was doing a class, and it was just for information, never to be able to on Gerdell's incompleteness there. I'm not going to go into detail. Well, explain what, what, what that is, though, because that's a, that's a really significant It's a difficult, idea. that's what I mean, very, it's difficult. Yeah. But I was just going over some rough things of it. A student of mine went to his math teacher and said, could you talk about it? The math teacher unloads on him. Don't yeah. ever bring that up in class. I would think if I'm teaching math, even a college, low college algebra, a student brings that in to me. I'm going to say, why don't you at least come and see me? That's mm -hmm. fascinating you would even bring that up. Exactly. In fact, we should tell the audience that, that we have a, we'll have a whole session on incompleteness in, in mathematics and in science because our science is based on right now a mathematical foundation, and if mathematics is incomplete, which we'll describe a little later what that actually means, mm -hmm. uh, then our science is incomplete yeah. if the foundation is that. And that's a recent mm -hmm. transition from mathematics as a descriptor from mathematics being foundational. Yeah, and and it, when you bring that up in class, to a philosophy class, to humanities class, uh, how is it, and I, I'd like to bring in Leonardo because mm -hmm. uh, I'm fascinated with, with his uh, use of the golden ratio. Yeah, in 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 uh, the Last Supper, in the Mona Lisa, and you show just show the rectangles, and we'll we'll also describe that in another session as well. But to an, an interested uh, listener, just 
Google out their golden ratio and f see what it is. That's what we to told our students. And you don't tell her it would be good because a student then, when you bring that up, is seeing that here is geometry, here is art, here is a, one of the greatest minds of the world. See, you can't do one without the other. They don't have that category or categorical thinking That's right. where this box goes here, this box goes here. So why did he surpass the rest of it? Why don't we have another Leonardo anymore? Yeah, exactly. And, or where did he go? In, in, in a sense, when you, even though uh, we, we use Leonardo because uh, he's an engineer, he did a lot of engineering. Sure. But his art was amazing. And you move into something like uh, uh, Michelangelo, mm -hmm. who... Uh, would do David you know, mm -hmm. uh, sculpting, and I think it was Bertrand Russell made a very interesting statement, and I may be, be mis paraphrasing, but he said something like, uh, "Even in sculpture, when it's cold and austere," and I had a little exception mm -hmm. about that. He wrote, mm -hmm. he wrote that essay, "Study of Mathematics," I think mm -hmm. it's called, "The Study of Mathematics," I mm -hmm. believe it's a book. Or, or, philosophy, uh, of uh, yeah, philosophy of mm -hmm. Mathematics, and he says, and I disagreed with that. I said, you know, mathematics is kind of warm and elegant. And like a statue, like like a Michelangelo mm -hmm. in this context. So uh, a lot of these things, when you bring into a classroom, the student now becomes an active participant. How many times did they come into our class, right? In either whether it be science or whether it be mm -hmm. philosophy, humanities, and say, "Look what I found." Yeah. They, that shows right away that they have become an active participant. And one, not and like you. You were actually kind of uh, when I you were my student, right? Oh uh, yeah. You well. fell asleep a lot. I mean, you know, I even I even managed to get through school after being your student. Well, that know. was the amazing well, part. I take responsibility for that. So. Uh, I think I think I pay reparations for that one on that. Yeah, yeah many, you many should take responsibility. Yeah. It's the only thing you do. You don't take responsibility for anything else. It's it's true. It's true. <laughs> but, but I think that uh, once we get that active participant mm -hmm. in play, the I you know the I six mm -hmm. we, 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 we pretty much they know what animate what animate means. They know what originate means. They know now what rejuvenate means. And, 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 it's and the stimula it's just, stimulate is a curiosity. Yeah, you hit it on the head. We're going to do, when we do rejuvenate, you're rejuvenating what it was, the whole, was a teacher, you want to rejuvenate what the student had when they were a little kid. Exactly. And as they get to this, they'll have a little more discipline in an area in order to funnel that curiosity mm -hmm. into something more than just random. But it's still extremely important for every student to, un to for every teacher mm -hmm. to rejuvenate and we'll go back to what we've always said before why do you remember some faculty and you forget most uh, exactly because they're the, they're the ones that stimulate you they're, they're the ones that rejuvenate they're the ones that bring stimulation and, and they, animation and origination in to every lecture and they do it unconsciously yeah you're not and adding anything we're talking about what? 10 15 second blips about did you know this and suddenly a student's eyes are widens. Yeah, yeah. I think we just got our one minute warning from our student. You had our producer, didn't you? I don't think so. I don't remember. Oh, I do. I remember every day of it. So, uh, <laughs> and, and he's reminding me right now that we have just a bit. Anyway, thank you for coming. <laughs>